Now, while Zali Stegall and her movement are in so much strife while they're on the defensive, the Liberal Party doesn't even have a candidate to run against her in Warringah. The New South Wales Liberal Party is in such factional and inane internal disarray that just four months out from the federal election, it doesn't have candidates in a bunch of winnable seats. This nonsense could cost them government. Still, while the Liberals haven't sorted a candidate for Warringah yet, we've spoken, of course, to Catherine Deves, who wants to run there if the party will let her contest pre-selection. So why not catch up with her on these latest revelations? Welcome to the program again, Catherine. Has Zali Stegall, do you think, explained herself fully enough over these donation revelations? Look, as a lawyer, uh, I am very disappointed in the incumbent. You know, as a member of the bar, she should have been aware uh, of the utmost importance of probity, integrity and uh, proper and timely disclosures. Um, as officers of, of the court, we should understand uh, these obligations. They are in our DNA. Um, but it was very disappointing to see how it played out this week. Um, and it should be disappointing for the people of, of Warringah. See, the thing that strikes me is that even if we take Zali Stegall at her word and say she didn't know about this $100,000 cheque and that this one family was tipping in so much money to her campaign, we know she did know about it over a year ago when the Australian Electoral Commission audited and found this problem and, 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 and told her about it and corrected it. That's when she knew. So she shouldn't she then have put out a press release or perhaps more properly made a statement in the parliament to announce this uh, revelation to everyone, clear up uh, uh, the issue, uh, put it into the public arena and apologise for getting it wrong? Well, the purpose of proper and timely disclosure is so that the electorate can be confident uh, that the values that the incumbent or the candidate is purporting to uphold um, that they are upholding these values. Uh, so when we see the incumbent uh, who has campaigned um, on a platform, her whole political campaign was on integrity, um, and we are unable to trust her on those matters of integrity, um, how are the people of Warringah going to trust her on any other issues? Yes, that is a big question indeed. It's a bit frustrating there is no candidate to chosen to, uh, to defend her yet. But what's your sense on the ground? You live in the electorate. And this money came from a family made a lot of money from coal mining. Um, Zali Stegall's had quite a high profile, even though she's obviously not in part of any government or any official opposition. Is there satisfaction with her performance in Warringah? Well, look, I mean, personally, I want to see more quality women in government. Um, I want to, all across the political spectrum, I want to see more women in parliament and more women in government. Uh, and in the beginning, uh, the incumbent, you know, I was not unsupportive of the incumbent uh, on that view, uh, but she lost my support not long after she was voted in. Uh, and I did approach her in relation to my advocacy uh, for women and girls in sport. And after an initial meeting uh, a few months after she was voted in, um, I tried to approach her again. Uh, however, my, my efforts went nowhere. Um, and it was at that time, you know, I, I realised that I, I didn't support her any longer. Are you telling us you voted for her in 2019? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> No, but I did want to support her uh, as, a, as a woman in Parliament. Uh, she was my local member, so of course you want to be supported appropriately, uh, sorry, represented properly. Fair enough indeed. Uh, so I just wanted to clear that up. That, that, would have, that would have been a yarn. Yep. Thanks for joining us, Catherine. I appreciate your time. All right. Thanks very much, Chris. Catherine Deves here, who's the founder of Save Women's Sport in Australia. And as you know, she's keen to run for pre-selection in uh, Warringah to put herself up as the Liberal Party candidate for that seat. But the Liberal Party have knocked her back and now they don't know what they're doing. Uh, hopefully they'll sort themselves out at some stage.